So happy Saturday, guys. It is Saturday at the Riches. Um, we going to the movies, y'all. Anywho, I'm finna let y'all see my family. My house is a mess. I know, listen, it's more normally clean. So don't give me a hard time about this, okay? Anywho, I'll be right back. So guys, this is Saturday at the Riches home. Y'all gotta forget the mess. Look, nobody's seen him in a while. What's so your name? Hey, yo, Jari. That's my name. Really? That's my new name. Yeah. He graced us with his, his appearance. But this is who really matters. This is my boo thing. She don't matter. Hey, Courtney. Hey. What'd really, you just say? She don't matter. I don't matter. No. Why? Because. Because what? You annoying. I don't know. So, whatever. He know he love her to death. Hey, Court. Hey. So, we are eating. Um, We're getting ready to go to the movies. Me and Mike are. Here's my lunch. It's a little late for lunch, but that's what I got. Um, Harley is riding around on her bike as usual in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, ma'am. Hey. You gonna say hey? You're not gonna give your brother a hug? Mm -mm. Huh? You are not? You gonna say hey to the people? Hey, people. All right, and that's good enough. <laughs> and then there is the hub star over there eating wings if it ain't wings and chicken or some sort it is going to be tacos tacos that's it he got two stations tacos or chicken stations that's it <clears throat> it's delicious what kind of wings you got right look at that bottle of ketchup my god it's hardly like a lot of ketchup so it'd be gone real fast i'm not a fan of ketchup and i'm watching the, another trash team play Mm, don't be coming for my school. Well, they they sorry, but hey, don't be. They better than the Falcons. Anywho, so what we about to get into? That ain't saying a lot. We come <laughs> to the movies. You know what we get into? She yes. actually finally finna drag me to the damn movies. <clears throat> and I'm scared. I am too, but I got us covered, babe. Can't eat snacks in that bitch. You better eat them before we go. Hey, hey. we are headed to the theater. Mike is driving like a man out of heaven. Let me ask y'all As couple, have couple issues, like stuff that y'all do as a couple <laughs> that you just think, can't seem get, to get past. For Mike and I, it's time, okay? We ain't never on time for nothing. And it drives me nuts because I have like the best intentions ever. But it never worked out. What? I'm just saying. Yeah, what it is. No, and see, he always say that, but we need to really work on it and be intentional about it. Yeah, good thing ain't no people waiting on that. I mean, no, nobody's waiting on this. But, you, 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 you would know, be having a whole conniption fit right now. I would be because I really be having good intentions, but I'm just, I'm equally bad, y'all. Like, I'll start washing some clothes, making up the bed, sorting through stuff, just random stuff, even though I know I need to be handed out the door. It's so weird to me. So I wonder, y'all, do y'all comment below and let us know if y'all got any things that y'all just do. That's just like both of y'all do it. So really, nobody can complain to the other. Sometimes, sometimes. I didn't get to tell y'all on live last night, but I had a weird last couple of days just doing stuff that don't, don't normally happen to me. Like I had a fender bender yesterday. By God's grace, nobody was hurt, no damage. But it was like. And I take ownership because I I hit the person from the back. But we were getting off of the expressway. In the expressway, the right lane was a keep moving lane. She kept moving and then suddenly she just smashed on brakes. Nobody in front of her or anything. And I was still on my brakes, but I was still rolling. And so I was, I kind of hit her car. Now the, the vendors or the fenders or whatever the hell you call them, they did their job. No damage, no dents, no nothing. And she said that she was from out of town. So she just wasn't familiar with how our roads were, even though it was a keep moving sign. Oh, that was right no, there. no, I think she had insurance. I, I, I don't know. She was an older oh. lady. Um, and she was like, no, I'm not saying, do you want to still take my information? Because maybe you might, you're sore in the morning or whatever. And she was like, no, 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 I'm totally okay. Everything I had a question. Fine. What? What's your question? She black or white? She was I got a reason why I asked that question. She was white. Yeah. She'd have been black. Y'all would have been getting information. You think so? Yes. She would have been hurt. 
She would have been like, my neck and my back. <laughs> well, I'm just thankful that she, she didn't because I didn't need that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I know I ain't that. lying, though. I mean, I, 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 I understand 12, what you're saying. There you go, 12. There go 12. Anyway, so today, y'all have seen that driveway before. So Mike, he'll park his other car on the side of the driveway. I always try to avoid moving. I usually back into the driveway, but lately I just pull it in. So I'm trying to, first and foremost, I, let me not make excuses. Let me just tell you first. I pull out the, 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 the driveway. I back out of the driveway. I'm trying to avoid his car because it was kind of close to the end of the driveway and i ran into the neighbor car they company car or something i backed straight they into it right but they parked directly right out of behind my drive i mean right by my driveway so even when i had to straighten up and pull back out like i had to straighten up and actually cut my my wheel so i could actually i mean it, it was just in a really awkward position and then i went to knock on that door nobody ever came and so I wasn't gonna call the police because honestly it was really minimum damage. I was really hoping that I can just write her a check or something and she'll just I mean and then the car was like an older car or whatever. She just like, scratched, right? It was yeah, it was like a little bitty bump, but my bumper needs to be adjusted. Um but it, it didn't do much to her car. But I still wanted to take responsibility. So I had to leave because I was going to get Harley. When I came back and I knocked on the door, I probably should have left a note, but I was really thinking when I get back, you know what I'm saying, I'll just go back over there and try to talk to him. When I came back, the car was gone. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, because the person didn't live there. Cause, yeah, the person didn't live there. And obviously, they, they ain't leave no note or nothing. Do I just go to the neighbor and say, hey, I that great car that was yeah. out there, I hit it? Yeah, that's what you do. Okay. So I'll do that because I, I ain't trying to be, I, I live next door to these people. I ain't trying to get over. I mean, it was, it was totally my fault. But don't be parking your damn car right there. So, anywho. 12 and day, boy. At this point in time, I'm scared to drive. Because. Speed trap. I feel like I ain't safe. I don't, I, don't, I don't have accidents and stuff like that often. Like, I've been in them before. I don't know, babe. You, you yeah. think I'm safe to drive? I think you're good to drive, man. You just got to. Shake that shit out, man, because it be stuff that be happening with me. Man, look, I mean, look at like, three weeks ago, we went over um, to uh, DJ's birthday, and I almost had like two accidents on the way back. And I was like, bro, when I'm in the car by myself, this y'all don't never happen. Every time you in the passenger seat, for some reason, I do something stupid. And I'm gonna have a smash on brakes because she always, and then Kiki or Rack, she be like, I mean, they stopping, they stopping, they stopping. Because you be going 100 miles per hour. And I know, but I be, I be seeing them though, babe, most of the time. One time, like I was just telling you three weeks ago, I didn't realize they were slowing down that fast. It's just, I just wanted to share y'all with y'all the interesting thing and let y'all know that we are habitually late. Now, we, we the irritating type of late too, because they don't be like an hour late. It be like eight minutes late. You know what I'm saying? Like that type that of late. That's why I don't be tripping. But I, I, it, it, I be one for once in my life, I just want to be on time consistently for like a year to everything that I go to. Eight minutes, baby. Everything. Eight minutes is late. Every time, look. Every time she complain about being late, and she thinks somebody gonna trip. We always get there, and it be like the whole clique of folk that ain't came yet, and the people don't even bat an eye at us being late. Matter of fact, they don't even be ready to start whatever we doing. And I be like, I be looking at her like, you stress, all that stress. And I be mad too, y'all. Uh, I be like, come on, why is you taking? Why is I be fussing at the cars? I be losing my mind. And most of the time we get there and ain't nobody said they be like, oh hey y'all girl, you know such and such ain't got here. We be like, oh. So then we end up being those people who have to sit there and wait on everybody else to get there. Yeah. But I still be yeah. wanting to do my part. Sorry, right, baby. Punctuality is not a flaw. It's or not. being wanting to be punctual is not a flaw. Anywho, so we'll be pulling up to the movies. Um, we're going to see Tenet. I'll be honest in saying I am not looking forward to seeing. It. I got my Tenet shirt on. Mike has his tennis shirt on. Ooh, and it's a Candy Jack guy. But, what are you talking about? I, don't, I think they could have made that at Walmart and didn't just. They could have. I like the I like the vintage. Um, every time Travis Scott put a shirt out, they'd be like real vintage. I like where they fit. Gotcha. So, you know. So, um, tenant merch because he, he did a song on the um, soundtrack. Gotcha. The back is fire too. Fire. I make sure I let y'all see the back when we get out of the car. Um, I'll be honest in saying I'm not looking forward to seeing this. I was looking forward to seeing it at first, Mike, because Mike was so excited about it. 
Um, so I was like, oh yeah, we want to see it. I mean, I definitely like Christopher Nolan or whatever. Dark Knight is by far one of my favorite movies. Inception. Um, Inception is as well. So, um, and I, what's the name of the other one when they be they on those ships? That's Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Yeah. I, he also did uh, Interstellar. Memento. That was one of his first movies. Memento was Christopher Nolan. Yep. Oh, and it was that was a really good. Should have known dealing well. with time and stuff like that and stuff going backwards through time. It got to be so weird. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I've never seen Dunkirk. I'm gonna take the time to watch that, Neither. and I've never seen Interstellar. Might want to see that, but Dunkirk I was the only hit one of his movies I haven't seen. He did a movie called The Prestige too, a long time ago. I ain't but, seen uh, that either. Hugh Jackman and um, Christian Bale. I think that's what was in that movie. So yeah, I'm definitely not looking forward to being able to see this movie. Um, I really was wanting to go and see. Unhinged. You're definitely not looking forward. To I'm not looking forward at to all. It. Not not even a little bit. Now I might Dang, have a. You a like John David heart. Washington though? I do like him a lot, a whole lot. I'm so proud of him too. Looking forward to seeing this. I prefer to see. Now you looking forward to it? No, no I'm, that's not what I meant to be <laughs> saying. I would have preferred to see Unhinged. And honestly, I was going to go and see Unhinged while he was going to go see Tenet. And we would have oh, just had Lord. two different experiences. But I just feel like if we're going to take the risk, I should be, at excuse me, at least able to see something I wanted to see. Now, unfortunately, this movie is two hours and 40 minutes. No, two hours and seven minutes. It said two hours and 40 on the thing. Oh. If it's two hours and seven minutes, that's even better. But, um... Unfortunately, the other movie was only an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm not gonna have nothing to do besides sit there. You go in over there. Okay, I see. I was, I was gonna, I wasn't gonna have nothing else to do besides sit there looking crazy until he got done. So I just was like, forget it, I'll go ahead and see the longer movie. Um, So we pulling up and we're gonna be back. Well, we're gonna have some great parking too. Cause ain't nobody near me. Ain't nobody here. <laughs> and that's good. Oh, and that, that's another thing I wanted to say. When I looked at the movie, um, theater, you know how you can see it on the AMC app. It was only 18 tickets sold to this movie, and they only doing 40 percent. You could probably go up and park in the front of the movie theater. I probably could. Um, it was only 18 people that was in there, and everybody's really spaced. So, I mean, we already late, and and I'm sure they can still sell tickets, but I really doubt it. I think everybody who was going to be there is is there. Um, so that did make me feel better, but we got our supplies, so. Um, y'all wish us luck and we'll let y'all know how the tenant was. Yeah, we do have our supplies. So, Don't see y'all in a minute. Yeah. Boy, I'm about to lose my shit, bro. I'm about to lose my shit, sir. All these folks, well, look at all these. Oh, you can't see them down. There's so many people down there, bro. Ain't nobody really in the movies, but it's a, um, it's a, it's a place called Main Event where you play games and bowling and all that stuff. Crowded, crowded, bro. I can't do it. I feel like I just want to spray everybody down or something. We in here though. We made it. She finally got me out here. We had the movie. Go see it in Dolby. Oh, the movie is on. It started. It started. Come on. Bootleg. Yeah, man. So it's kind of dark in here, but. This was our movie theater, Dolby Digital Movie. Uh, what's the name of the place? Mm. Uh, Parkway Point mm. Movie Theaters. Reclinable leather seats. You probably can't see them that good, but the seats are super crazy. Y'all yeah, probably can't see that at all. It's super dark, but one of the best movie theaters in Atlanta that we go to. And the sound is terrific. Like, it was loud, well. In the movie, I couldn't even understand what they were saying over the time. Well, all that has been said about this movie by reviewers is like, it's a lot of times where the uh, music and the sound design plays louder than the um, the actual dialogue in the movie. So it's been super empty in this movie. Then I guess we go straight out here. But with that being said, thoughts of the movie. I don't think, honestly, I, don't, I think it was, I ain't gonna say she wasn't feeling it. I'm pretty sure it was part she enjoyed, but it was a bit much for her. As far as uh, all the exposition and talking, and I'm trying to explain everything that was going on. Uh, the premise was kind of far-fetched, super ambitious. Like, 
they was taking us into another world. But the thing about it is, it's crazy how somebody like my wife can dish out so much information at one time, but she can't take it in at that same rate. <laughs> that, that, but that's basically what it was. Cause we walking. No, it's not even about not being able to take it in. It has to make sense. It gotta be something that I can believe in immediately. First of all, to me, it, to me, it made sense. Day. I probably have to see it again to see, catch I on to a couple. That all, you got to see a thousand times to catch up on. That, that's not. That's to, not the type of. Inception was like that. I know, and that's what I said. It's not the like the type. But you of end up. I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest with you. Inception was a much better movie. Than I movie. agree with that. I agree. Um. So while I was interested in seeing that again, I wouldn't see this again. Um. I might check it out one more time. I might. Yeah, I ain't gonna see it in the movie. I might but, check it out one more time because it was a couple of pieces that I was like. The first thing okay. that lost me is the inability be, to be able to understand what they were saying. When I started having to piece stuff together, yeah, I, I, I be, I be. And it was a lot of piecing together for me too, but I didn't really have a big problem trying to piece it together. Honestly, um, we way over there. Yeah. One thing I will say, and ain't got nothing to do with the movie, I felt, I felt kind of safe. I did. I felt you know, very safe. We was very separated from everybody. We nobody, weren't close to nobody. I felt like we was literally in the theater all by ourselves. Like, and the seats were so clean. They looked brand new. I think they did that little cleaning. And yeah, then we went. Movie theater be smelling. It didn't even smell like that. Then no, had, it just smelled had, fresh. And they then they had their um, disinfectant towels there, and so we were able to. When well, they saw that, we recorded yeah, so it. Yeah, so we could we could actually clean okay. them off ourselves. We were right there. Oh yeah, that's right. But man. That was, I mean, it was very, it was very cool experience. I wish every time I go to the movies, it can be that empty. Because we didn't have nobody within like 12 feet of us in the movie theater. Probably further than that. Nobody was nowhere near. We could have literally sat there without our mask on the whole time. We didn't. We could talk. But uh, Kiki did something that I didn't think she was going to do. I ate some popcorn. She came, she went something to get something to drink. I'm so thirsty. It came back with popcorn and um, chocolate. I felt safe. I felt like I, I would survive. You, you, met, you, you, you was okay at that point, I guess. Yeah, because then when I went But back, I was I still don't... scared. I still had my mask going on. Like, she finna eat. And then after the movie got halfway through, started getting lengthy, I was like, give me a couple of them snacks. Right. So, okay. I myself, I enjoyed it. You did. One of, one of my favorite movies of his but I enjoyed it. It had a lot of information that was thrown at you at one time. It was explaining every single thing that was going but on in the movie. you couldn't understand what the hell they Two were things, saying. two things. Sound design for a movie with a budget that big, it was way too loud. And the, sometimes the words they said, they was whispering and they playing this dum, 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 blaring you know, music on top of it. Dolby, Dolby is, is very similar to like maybe 4D. So you getting the vibration in your seat, yeah. in your head. You know what I'm saying? Your head rest is, is with every noise. It's, it's, it's bouncing all over the place. And so that coupled with not being able to hear, it was it was it took away from me. Yeah, and, you, and, you, and even the pieces that you missed out on, what they were talking about when they were trying to explain the world uh, and how it worked, what was happening in the world, you was like, I'm missing out on stuff because I can't understand what they're saying. Exactly. But I was able to piece it together for the most part, and I feel like there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of exposition, a lot of talking explaining like the first half of the movie it went slow after people said it was gonna be slow and boring no, i didn't feel like it was slow no. I, I didn't feel like it was boring I, I felt like it was a really good concept i mean i felt like if you could hear what they were saying yeah and if you had a little bit more time to maybe ingest what was going you can on develop you could what was really going on better. enjoy it but it was just a lot of stuff that but took the, away from the me. action set pieces and the like the the actual filming of the movie and the visuals was ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. I mean, all that right, and the music, it, even though it was super loud, you can hear what they were saying sometimes. The music was, it reminded me of like all of Christopher Nolan's movies, The Dark Knight. I was so surprised they didn't even have the same music composed in the movie because it reminded me of The Dark Knight and Inception, like with that, dong, dong, that, that music that just make you feel like something to happen. Um, but I felt like a lot of the um, character development for certain characters, like even John David Washington, he did a really good job 
but like it was just like he was motivated and it seemed like he was trying to figure out what was going on with us the whole movie right you know and that's what, what i did appreciate because it was just like he didn't know so he right. was trying to figure it out but i felt like as far as the cat i felt like it was supposed to be sort of kind of a love story a connection yeah. between her and him and yeah. i didn't necessarily they never that. really developed that right. all the way um but it, i think the premise of explaining the way this thing called inversion works which makes time move backwards while all the other time is moving forward. That was the main thing that you had to grasp and you had to be grounded in believing that in order to enjoy the movie. I agree. You know what and, I'm saying? And did you have any more? Cause I, I mean, I, 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 I won't, I'll be honest in saying, I'm not sure I know enough of what the hell was going on to really offer a, a proper review. I mean, it was, it was entertaining. I was there, but it was yeah. kind of one of those things where it was like, okay, I'm here, but I'm not really here. Yeah. Um, I won't say that I didn't enjoy it. I just feel like the stuff that was important for me to be able to jump in and understand from yeah. the beginning, I lost that. And when I did, it, it you can yeah. rewind it. You know you what I'm can, saying? I can, can rewind, rewind it. it. It ain't like Inception. Me and her kept going back when right. I made her watch Inception. And same thing when she watched Inception in the movie. But like you said, you can follow it a little bit better. Right. This one, I was just like, I, 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 I when I start feeling like. It was. I was trying my best because I'm really good at piecing movies together while watching them and listening to them talk. But when I was kind of struggling at certain parts, like okay, I got to go back to this. To okay, that happened because of that, and this happened before, and this came after. After it got to that part, I even looked at over over at Kiki and I said, "It's a bit much for you, ain't it?" Mm -hmm. And she was like, "Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying." So, hold and then, it for like a while. I said, I think the other part of it is just being in a situation where I'm a realist, and I know. I mean, I have a huge imagination. imagination I just don't think that time travel is my thing. I, I really yeah. just don't think that that's something that and I'm I also think, very I also, interested in. I also in. think if if it's anything that's far-fetched and unbelievable, like an inception, going inside people's dreams and planting ideas is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But I think if they if they give a good enough setup for you to catch on to what they're going right, on, I can enjoy or if it. you can understand the right. setup, it'll probably you probably be able, that's why I enjoyed it a little bit more because I understood where they was going with it. I a feel little like bit more. Mike Slick calling me stupid a little bit. No, 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 some no, kind of way that's just, where that's I'm just where saying this is a lot going. of this stuff. <laughs> it is so crazy because we watch movies most of the time. I'm telling you, I'm asking you what they say, right. what they say, and right. in this movie where you can sometimes you can barely hear what they were saying. I was like, I understood that they said, I, and I was whispering her ear certain stuff every time I caught on to it. If I think she wasn't catching on to it. Now the reality is, of it is, is I think a part of it is that you wanted to really see this, and yes. I really did. I really, and I so really going to into it. it, he was laser focused while yes. I was looking at him like, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go get me something. Right, to she, like so, one of the most <laughs> important parts of the movie at the beginning when it was trying to explain how the inversion thing worked with the time travel. She was going to get drinks. Right, and I was like, she need to see this part. I she need to see this part because they explain in it but it's and, then, and then the, the last thing that i'm gonna say about this and and i think that i'm over it at this point why are super crazy dumb rich smart people always want to end the world what the hell is and that would end up being like, the main focus of and the that ended movie. up being the main but it took us a long like, time to even figure out that's what it was it was like three, three ways three third a third into the movie by the time we finish or figure it out like uh, seriously if i ever get like if, 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 if i'm gonna want to move in the world because i got money i guess it ain't nothing else to do but i mean these people are incredibly intelligent yeah. and the first thing that you think about is taking over the world or ending it I he just was don't like get it. he was like he was sick and he was like if i if, if i gotta die yeah, then if I gotta everybody, die, everybody gotta come like you know, okay so, it so was crazy, but i don't know but um i feel like it was a good movie though like I, not one of his favorite i like the better than interstellar mm-hmm um, not as good as Inception, nowhere mm -hmm. near as good as uh, The Dark Knight, but right. I like it better than um, Interstellar, I will say that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's very talented at everything that he does. He definitely was one of my favorites. And like I said, it was just a couple of things. Like, I just feel like any movie that you watch, you should be able to jump in at some point and be able to piece stuff together without it having to be... And you know the whole mystery. It was a lot of explanation. It was a lot of explanation during the whole movie. But you know what was crazy about the explanation? They were throwing it at you real. Like I say, my wife be throwing information at me. They were throwing it at you real fast. Okay, this, 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 that. And they was expecting you to be real smart and piece it together. They was expecting you to do that. And it was hard to do. I heard him tell y'all that he don't be understanding what I be saying, but he don't piece this movie together. Let's be clear. No, Let's be clear. It's man. recorded. Hey, but but this this is a, just a two hour movie. I got like sixteen years of you trying to throw information in my ear, so Anywho's, let's be clear. Let's be Crystal. clear. Anywho's, most importantly, it was amazing to get out 
of the yeah, house the and do thing. something that we and were familiar with and we lost. Safe. And I felt safe, yes. Yeah. I definitely would do it again. I don't know. Except when we first walked in, all them people that were down there. But they were uh, even at a, another event. place. Like, I think AMC, at least this location, has done an amazing job with making sure people were separated. Even in the lines, you had hand sanitizer at everything. Every station that you can be at is super clean. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then they did, they did great spacing. So... I, I, I honestly, if I go home and I get sick, then hey, I, I wouldn't have been able to tell from being. That's in here. why I vouched for this one instead of we were gonna go to South Lake, yeah. but they they ain't nowhere near as yeah mm -hmm. on point as this one is. You know exactly, and I'm, I felt like I saw more adults here than I did children yeah. as far as only like the staff was concerned. So maybe that made a difference as well. But anywho, we don't went on forever. This is gonna be a pretty long video. Mm -hmm. Um, but thank y'all so much for joining us and hanging yeah. out with us and. Let us know if you, you saw Tenant and what your thoughts are, and we'll see y'all soon. By the way, soon. the back of the shirt. Oh, I got to show the back of the shirt. Back of the shirt. Time runs out. You feel me? We got a Travis Scott home. Don't bag bag when I'm trying to bag bag from right. me. And then I got a, I got a Travis Scott Katniss Jack shirt on. I had to wear the Travis Scott, y'all already know. I had to wear the foes. You know, we out here. We really appreciate y'all for watching. Why have you got on MX? That's dope. Mm. Fire, I bought these for her. Looking clean. I wanted to do a video on them before she wore them because I didn't know she was going to actually wear the doggone shoe. Um, but anyway, we out of here, man. Thank y'all for watching it. We did a movie heads thing we as did. well as a vlog with this and one. It so. felt so good. I, I yeah. really enjoyed I needed this. So. Appreciate y'all for watching. Love y'all, man. See y'all later. Go on.